Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we're gonna check out BTS's dance practice for their song Run BTS. Not Run BTS, the variety show or reality show, but the actual song. I'll be honest with you, I haven't listened to this song ever since I reacted to it um, earlier in the year just because I do go through a lot of songs. But I remember this being very hardcore and I was like this should have been the title track um, at that point but I get it with yet to come. It was like I get the purpose of it so I was like okay fine. But I feel like Run BTS was like your OG BTS. The fire, the, the not today type of sound which makes me very 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 um, excited to see this because um, I, I haven't seen any of the choreography to this like with Busan and like whenever they perform this I haven't seen it I was waiting for the dance practice and here it is finally and I can feel just by the thumbnail that it's gonna be great and we know that BTS can deliver in these type of like performances as, as we've seen throughout the many years right all right let's get to it yeah Whoa. That's a very like dance competition type of intro. Okay. Very hip hop. Hey. Nice. Ooh. They're having so much fun with this. I love this. Oh my god! Jimin! Hey! The pop! Oh, cool! Footwork! The synchronization though. Hey! Oh, that slide! Nice! Love the dynamics on this. Oh my god, there's a lot of tummy. <laughs> he slayed that. Hey, J Hope, let's get it. Oh my god, Jim is going ham. Holy shit. Okay, before we keep going, oh my god, Sugar's about to slay. It's been a while since I've seen a BTS dance practice because I've watched all of them. Um, so it's just so nice to see them do hardcore choreography again. Um, because I know what their capabilities are and of course as much as we love versatility in the way their music kind of uh, has expanded um, I am a huge fan of the way they do hardcore choreography right the introduction was very interesting you know it was it's very grand like the way it was laid out with the with the with the dancers it's like competition level type of um, intro dancers being like uh, going back like that and then opening up and then we had some solo versions there but it didn't pick up your choreography didn't fully like take off until i think when jungkook and jimin went um the solos were fire too but like of course um it got harder as the song progressed because of dynamics right you 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 start slow and then you pick up from it um but like this like when they all like came out you know here um that's their strength i also feel like they haven't done this type of choreography before that's i mean they've done hip-hop but this is like it's it's different like it's 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 heavier it's more swag and it's just very uh, much more bouncier too like they've done hip-hop um but not in this level of quickness this um the the agility of it um, and I can see it in the bounce, in, in Jimin's bounces. Um, of course, they're all doing it, but like Jimin's bounce, like I was trying to pay attention to J-Hope because it was slain, and then like Jimin right there was just like, you know, like fucking, like, okay. <laughs> and the throws, I missed. <laughs> I feel like I haven't seen Jimin in so long. The throws, the hands, you know, it's almost, it kind of, they're not just throws. It actually do remind me of like whacking almost, the way it was attacked. Of course, he wasn't fully whacking here. I would love for him to do some whacking. But like the way it was rotating, it almost felt like it was, the quickness of it was like whacking, you know? That part, you know? You guys see? And that part. I love the levels in this. Like when you're down, you're down right? Like that's, that's what I appreciate it. 
um, and, then, and then it goes up. So that level change is more prominent. It reminds me of Mic Drop, and like Mic Drop is definitely one of my favorites from BTS. Like I can't believe it didn't go up, you know, higher than it did. Um, but like it reminds me of the energy of Mic Drop. Okay, now Sugar's gonna slay. The hair too, though, Jesus. Hey. Nice. That's cool. The transition there is genius. It's backwards. The use of handkerchief is really good. So, sorry. I'll, don't worry, I'll rewind. So the use of handkerchief. Handkerchief? Handkerchief. I have not said that word in a while and I lived in Manila for almost a year so like I don't know how to speak English anymore. <laughs> um, the use of hankies <laughs> is genius and it's actually quite difficult because always with, with props like this they're not solid it's more liquid so like the use of it can either enhance or really make your performance falter um, because you know easily you can let it go you know like it may something might happen and you, like you just like um, you drop it or like it doesn't move to a certain way or like it catches on something and it doesn't move a certain way So like the whole imagery of it is ruined. So it's um, it's always tricky to work with props But I always commend it. Uh, I always commend groups for incorporating props because it does It's a, it becomes an extension of you and and therefore it becomes a completely different image Which is always interesting Like that right nice spin See, like, what if Jin didn't catch that? Because Hanky doesn't have weight. Hey! AV! Oh my god, that was quick! Woo! Yes! I actually like that killing point. Hey, the bike boom. Oh! oh my god, that's clever. That was like a motorbike thing. See, even even the use of like the you know taking off the clothes, that's tricky because what if you, it gets stuck and it happens all the time. But it does allow for creativity when you use props. Whoa. I love J-Hope in this because it's really showing his style, like his his um his free flowingness of the way he moves the vibe it's actually quite perfect for this um because of how free this vibe is there's a freeness to this choreography but also at the same time it's hard it's going hardcore um so that mixture makes it a very interesting choreography for j-hope to do go jungkook jungkook's very clean the way he moves. I've mentioned it several times. Jimin's stance, I feel like died in this, <laughs> watching this, because the amount of belly, <laughs> the amount of abs. Yeah, oh my god. It's just really nice to see them do these kind of hard choreographies again. Um, of course, because they've expanded their repertoire quite a bit. Um, which is not a bad thing, of course we have our preferences, um, but for me, I've always been vocal about liking their more hardcore choreographies because of course, you know, like the dance background and stuff, the more competitive level and I've, and I've um, rallied for their abilities to do that ever since. Um, and uh, you know, th that's kind of really why I opened this channel to like show, um, to showcase and pinpoint 
tough choreography that's a lot that a lot of people may not realize. It's just nice for to, to see them do these kind of choreographies again. And like the agility is still there, the swag is still there. Um, I can't wait to see what they have for the award seasons because they're always so grand. So I can't wait to see what they have. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching with me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure you take that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. And if you'd like to get to know more about me, do check out my Instagram and Twitter down below.